Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. to stand before you in the name of Jesus. He been good to me, saints. He brought me a long way. Hallelujah. So today we're going to turn to Psalms 34. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to start reading from the 15th verse. Hallelujah. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Say the righteous cry, and the Lord hear, and delivereth them out of all their trouble. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart, and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. Say many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. Him out of them all. We thank God for the word of God. This morning we're going to talk about afflictions. Hallelujah. The many. Many, many. He didn't say you're going to have one. But it's many afflictions of the righteous. Hallelujah. Oh God. And we thank him and I was looking and I was making myself a little note on affliction. A great state of suffering that produces sorrow, hardships, and distress. You are righteous, aren't you? He said, many. The word David was saying, he was talking in here. That's why he was blessing the Lord at all times. Because he had been through something. And when he got down here, he would start talking with the great deliverer. How Jesus can bring us out. But he said here, he said, many of the affliction of the righteous. And I, I started to write down some of the, the different types of affliction. You know, sometimes we are in things and don't even know what we're into. Well. Sickness is a type of affliction. <clears throat> Finance is a type of affliction. When your health and wealth are not right, it's a type of affliction. <laughs> sometimes the enemy attack your children. Yeah. Your marriage can be attacked. Hallelujah. 
These are afflictions. Everybody goes through affliction. You can't say you don't have them because you're in the world. You have some type. But God gave a promise to the righteous. Hallelujah. Said there are self affliction. Things we bring on ourselves. Poor choices. Poor, uh, poor, um, hallelujah. Judgment. Bad decisions. These are self infliction. Things you bring on yourself. Cause yourself to, to suffer. Then the enemy brings shame on you. Hallelujah. Bring you into disgrace. Sometimes attacks your children. And they do things that you don't like. Oh God. But these are affliction. We in the world that's full of affliction. Hallelujah. Then there's private affliction. You going through, don't want nobody to know that you're going through. Somebody told me the other night, said, that's mine. It's private. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't want nobody to know about it. So I'm keeping it to myself. Said, sometimes when you go through these uh, private affliction, you try to hide them, you know. Said, you shut the door on the outside, but on the inside, you're crying night and day. Private. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you have your own pity party. You try to cover them up. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Trying to hide the pain. They proud. But God knows all about it. You can't hide from God. Then that's public affliction. He just exposed your business to everybody. Everybody knows what you're going through. Lord, have mercy. I lost my job. My marriage is all messed up. Oh, God. Oh, God, I done floor closer to my house. I done lost my house. Everybody know what you're going through. Hallelujah. You know why he's doing it? So he can get the glory. Hallelujah. Say, all the glory belongs to God. Don't care what you're going through. Say, everything belongs to God. Think about what Jesus went through. God, hallelujah. The, uh, the, the cross was his prerequisite to the resurrection. But the path of the cross. Was what he had to go through so many things. He sung it this morning. Wounded. Oh God. Suffer for you and I. That you and I might have a right this morning to the tree of life. I'm so glad about Jesus. I'm so glad. But then in the same verse. It said but. And you know that's a conjunction. That takes a change to a different direction. When you got down here, said, but the Lord, this is what Paul was saying. I mean, David was saying, said, but the Lord delivered to him. Out of them all, he got E-T-H on that word, delivered. He keep on delivering. Every day and every hour. He don't give up on you. Even if you're in your self-affliction, he, if you repent, he'll come to your rescue. Hallelujah, he'll help you. He'll bring you out. And I looked at this, I said, Lord, we're going through, and we are complaining. You won't even, like to say, give him a praise. If you know what God, why God is doing this, he's giving you, it's a blessings and afflictions too. Hallelujah. Because when he afflicted, you said, Be before I was afflicted, so I went astray. But after that, I started taking heed to the word of God. He got to do sin affliction. Because if he didn't sin them on you, you wouldn't serve. Hallelujah. That's why so many things are said in the word of God about affliction. Says blessings in them. Oh God. If we just look to the hill, says you don't even have to complain. Says though your outward man perish, the inward man is renewed day by day. Sometimes, Lord, what am I going through this? Why is this affecting, bothering me? And see, years ago, when one went through and another went through, we prayed day and night. Something, we were praying for our sisters and brothers' soul because we know about affliction. We know what they were going through. And like my mother would say, you don't talk about nobody's children, not if you have them. Say, you better pray. Hallelujah. He said, pray, pray. Because, honey, these afflictions are touch in it, bother anybody. But we are in the service today. And we ain't got nothing to brag on our Sunday school lesson was telling us this morning. If the Lord has to bless you and you are going through and doing right, so you can't brag on nothing but the grace of God. Hallelujah. 
This morning we can say, Lord, say your grace and mercy brought me through. So I'm living this moment because of you. Hallelujah. Oh, God. And he told, uh, he t oh, God. He said, my grace is sufficient. sufficient. He told Paul, hallelujah. And it's made strong in weakness. So even though you done got weak, said my grace is sufficient. Why do we got everything we need when we are going through? Hallelujah. Oh God, we don't have to come in here and not clap our hands. We don't have to come in here and not sing the song. Like the man of God said, sit down like you're being entertained. You ought to get up and sing. Hallelujah. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, because God is coming soon. And it's not going to get any better. David wrote after he went through all of that. Oh, running from the enemy. And Oh, God, and he was telling them, us, he said, if you taste and see that the Lord is good, so blessed is the man that trusts in him. Then he went on down, and he was letting us know that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro. His ears are open to our cry. Oh, God, we don't have no re reason not to give God the praise. Hallelujah. So you're going through, but you're not by yourself. I'm right here to help you. Hallelujah. And, and then it said, it's a brighter day we're singing. So you might have cried all night. So, but in the morning, that will be joy. Hallelujah. Weeping they endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Look at the brighter day. You wake up and so excited. Say, what, what was going on all night long? But look at, I feel so good today. Because he's giving you a brighter day. Honey, we got to take advantage of what we have here instead of worrying but the trouble. And I keep on looking at the, uh, I was telling my, my daughter about the miracle that's right in our building, in our uh, 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 church, with our pastor. I said, had she said it was this side, then it went to that side and kept on going, now it's healed. Yeah. I, that was a flexion. Yeah. That was a flexion. Yeah. But she didn't turn back. She kept on moving. She kept on going. Yeah. That was a flexion, yeah. in case you didn't know what it was. But God put it. Now she got a testimony yeah. to give out to us, to build up our most holy faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you want to quit, look around and see what God has done. Look around and see how he done brought you out. Hallelujah. Sometimes you get your, you mash your finger and you want to give up on God. Why? I don't know why you always want to give up on God. Because he done brought you out. He done made the way. He done opened the door. Hallelujah. And he said, I will deliver you out of them all. All he's telling us to do is to stand firm in faith and Trust in him, yes. oh God, and have confidence in him. We read the word all the time. Hallelujah. We even recite it, but let it get in your spirit. Yes. Where it can work in the midnight hour. Work when you're all alone. Work when you don't know what to do. Hallelujah. Just call on Jesus. Oh God, he said, I will deliver them, him, out of the trouble. Because we're in trouble, we're in a troublesome world. Yes. Hallelujah, we're going through something. Yes. Hallelujah, in this world. You need people and it's so sad. But we're trying, what they're trying to give up over to us, the saints ought to be happy. Yes. You got a hope. 